Welcome back, my dear student. We will start talking about magnetic forces and fields. Let's talk about magnetism and introductory about magnetism. What is meant by magnets? Are there magnets in nature? What is magnetic in nature? Which objects will stick to the magnet? If you look at this picture, Magnets represent an amazing world which we can't see. Our senses don't pick up on magnets, but thanks to science, we can understand them. Do you know that magnets are one of the most important forces which move our world? There is a magnet or an electromagnet inside an electric engine. The Earth, the Sun, and the stars produce a magnetic field which, can, which we can detect and study. Doctors can see the inside of our bodies thanks to magnetic resonance. Thanks to our beloved Einstein. If you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. And he said in his autobiography that when he was five years old, he was very surprised when his father gave him a compass as a present. Would you like to be surprised by magnets? Now, how can we measure the strength of the magnet? We will discuss that through our uh, lab visits. Let's learn a little bit about magnets. We will follow a historical path. We will discover through history how magnets and electricity joined and scientists changed their ideas and their explanation about magnets. We can observe that nails are magnetized when they touch the magnets. Some objects stick to magnets. Object will pull toward the magnets. Another name for sticking is attract. What are a temporary magnets? Temporary magnets are those which act like a permanent magnet when they are within a strong magnetic field, but lose their magnetism when magnetic field disappear. And we'll talk about the first model. What are the permanent magnets? Are those most familiar with, such as the magnet hanging onto our refrigerator door? They are permanent in the sense that once they are magnetized, they return the level of magnetism. And then we discover a new force, which is the force of repel. So we took the attraction and the repulsion forces. Poles, what is the meaning of poles here? Same color poles repel, different color poles attract. Are human beings sensitive to magnets? Do we, we are not sensitive to magnets, so we need instrument to detect them and study their characteristic. A big leap in history, Faraday introduced a new concept, which is the magnetic field. We will talk about the magnet rules. Alike poles repel each other, different poles attract each other. Why does a magnet know that there is a magnet close? We will discuss that and many fascinating objects and topics in our lesson. Earth is a great magnet. Its magnetic field is like a bar magnet at its center and many other topics. I hope you will understand them all. If you have anything that is not clear, don't hesitate to ask. Have a nice
day and goodbye.